Hi, I'm Kurt Clem, physical therapist, uh, spine physical therapist. I'm also a certified ergonomics assessment specialist. I'd like to spend uh, some time today telling you about dental ergonomics. Uh, from both sides of the coin, we're going to talk a little bit about posture, which uh, for the most part is a, a skeletal perspective on position. We're also going to talk about the muscle side of things. Our, our body biomechanically works in a musculoskeletal system and we can't segregate one from the other. They, they work together, they affect each other. So today we're going to talk about the two of them and how they uh, work in dentistry. Traditionally what's been discussed has been spine position or posture. <clears throat> ideal posture is something that we look at when we evaluate a patient. Uh, ideal spine position would be an inward lumbar curve and a and a kyphosis in the thoracic area and a lumbar or in a lordotic curve in the cervical spine as well. Um, <clears throat> there's an ideal position that we compare everyone to and honestly I don't think I've ever seen that ideal person. It's a yardstick that we compare everybody to. There's so much variation within the actual human body and the human race that we, 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 we don't expect people to achieve that perfection, that ideal position. But it's a standard that we kind of compare everybody to. Uh, skeletal posture or position <clears throat> is ideal skeletal posture position is a starting point. The spine itself was made to move a lot. We're made to flex and extend and rotate and side bend and we can bend way down and tie our shoes and we can look up and, uh, uh, at the sky. But we, we have a lot of ability and potential for motion. The spine was made to move. Uh, the spine depends, uh, 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 nutrition depends on movement to be maximized. You need to increase circulation with movement. Uh, static positions are, are difficult to maintain because you don't have as good a circulation with muscle contraction. We're going to talk about that in a little bit more detail later on. But keep in mind that the spine is made to move. There's nothing sacred about sustaining one single position. A lot of good things happen with movement and variation in position, variation in movement. <clears throat> Traditionally, in the, in the dentist uh, arena, What's been taught is, to, is that a person should try to sustain that ideal position with an increased lumbar curve and your shoulders back and arms relaxed at your side. Now, that's a, an easy position to maintain if you're not trying to do some activity. Um, but uh, research suggests that uh, Leto in his uh, study suggests that trying to maintain any position, even an ideal one, is a problem. Will develop uh, muscular problems, develop pain si situations. So trying to sustain any position is going to be a problem. If you have a lumbar support on a chair, I can try to maintain that position, but I'm still not relaxed. To, to fully relax, I actually have to lean back fully to actually get lumbar erector spinae muscle to relax. As soon as I approach even vertical, my trunk muscles have already kicked in at this point. So I'm not really going to sustain uh, complete muscle relaxation trying to maintain that lumbar curve. 